Welcome to another segment of Learn from Leaderonymous and today I have with me Professor Marco Di Marco from Universita Catolica. Uh, professor Marco, welcome to the show. Nice to meet you. Great to have you here and you're Professor of Organization and Information, information System. Information System, right. Um, tell us a little bit of your background. How did you end up becoming an expert in IT and uh, in, yeah, in, in my, especially in banking? All right, my background is electronic engineering. I studied electronic engineering mm -hmm. and then I started working on hardware in the electrodynamic stuff or uh, on Boeing, the okay. Boeing company, the airplanes. Yep. And so you were with Boeing? Yes, <laughs> Boeing in Seattle. And okay. then I moved to uh, Phoenix and Oklahoma City in General Electric. Okay. Then when I came back to Italy, I worked on some project of General Electric. And uh, well, uh, you also had an experience close to General yes, Electric. Yes, I was in GA2 for a while. Yes, yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> And, and then I moved to Olivetti, that is a company ah, that okay. you know. Which is the, is, is, does it exist anymore, Olivetti? Uh, unfortunately, the unfortunately it exists, it's a very, become a very small company mm. working on uh, some specialized peripheral parts. It's not the Olivetti of uh, mm. that time, you know. Maybe the size of the country is not enough to support <laughs> a, a, a computer industry, you know. Yeah, you, you need yeah. a certain local size. Uh, yep. you know. Same happened to France and same happened to Germany and yes. UK. It's difficult to have a, a computer industry in a country that has not a certain size. Yes, so size, computers yeah. are for China, uh, United States, even Japan. Even Japan has yeah, had yeah. problems to build uh, big machines. Okay. So you were Oliver T. After that, what happened? After that, uh, I was uh, interested in research for a simple reason. And I found that uh, in many uh, cases, especially in banks, we had some system that worked and some system did not work. Mm. In some cases, we had big advantages. In some cases, we had serious problems with the same software, with the same hardware. Mm. Then I decided that the problem was not there in the hardware, not the software, but was just the way people organized around that. Wow, okay. And I found that the same investment in one uh, uh, company was very productive and other company was just a nuisance mm. and they had problems. They even uh, f uh, filed a suit against the, the, the vendors. Yeah. Is uh, that, and you said it's about people. What, what was the issue uh, with people? Well, the, re the reason that people are organized, not because you know, statistically people right, are the right. same. It's just uh, the organization of the people or the leveraging uh, of right, the people. Yeah, because okay. if it is just one person, you, know, you, sell a, you, you may sell a PC to somebody that cannot use it or sometimes is not willing to use it. Mm. But if you take a bank, you know, statistically the people of bank A are the same quality of B, people yeah. of bank B. Right. So if it doesn't work, it means they are organized in a different way. Okay. So it's not the quality of the people, it's the no, manner no. the people are used. Okay. No. If, if you go on a certain size, there's no problem of quality. You know, mm. the people in General Electric are the same over people you find in the central bank here. Or right. Although the GE people will disagree. But <laughs> 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 Yeah, but okay, so, so what, what was the issue with the organization of people? What managers try to do is mm -hmm. just to automate the same thing they used to do by hand. Okay. So take the manual process and uh, automate it. Okay. And if you in manual process uh, uh, something wrong yeah. and you automate, then there's something wrong translates. You may st still damage, uh, mm -hmm. more damages. Yep. So that's, uh, that's danger. That was the first thing. Okay. People did not like to change the manual process. Okay. So it was just a, they made a pic the analyst yeah. made a picture of the manual process. Yeah. And then they put some steam on it yeah. by automating it. And this was the first, uh, okay. the, the most frequent failure. So you didn't get any advantages that you expected because first you make a profit and loss, mm. a P&L, to a cost-benefit analysis to show your management to, be, uh, to accept the investment. And mm. then they make the investment, but they found the result is very poor mm. because they didn't change the manual process. Okay. This was the, f the, the first so, reason. So that's, that's the first mistake they made. Was there yeah. other mistakes? Yeah. Uh, in some cases, uh, when the project run short of budget, there is uh, to save money. There is very something very simple: uh, do not invest uh, in uh, training okay. of people. So, people when there was a migration, they they, didn't know how they, to use they, it. they started without training, okay. with several damages at the beginning, a problem inconveniences for the customers, especially okay. if it is a bank. You know, a, right. a bank must be open all uh, time. All, all no time. downtime. <laughs> no, no downtime. That's right. And uh, for a bank making a mistake in some transaction, you know, then it requires several transactions to repair, mm, mm, mm. Uh, to offset the mistake. Uh, so migration, uh, uh, migration were, uh, were poorly performed. Mm. And I would say also a third thing was that the top management, I say the board, mm. uh, usually 
have an experience, uh, they, they think that if you cut something by 10%, mm. uh, you get just 10% less. Mm. Like if I go to buy some apples yep. or prunes, yep. and I decide to buy, I don't have enough money, so buy less. I buy half, I yeah. pay half and buy half. Yeah. But in information systems, not like that. You mm. know, maybe they just to, if you want to save on a hard disk, and maybe you save only 5%, mm. but then you slow down all transactions. So these were the three major problems that uh, I found. That's I why see, I, was, I, I became very interested in that, and I tried, uh, I tried to study and to help uh, uh, companies to avoid these mistakes. No, that's, that's very interesting because I, I, I mean, even from personal life, I know people's resistance is what causes failure in most projects. Yeah. Uh, not so much the technology, not so much the project in itself. Right. I agree. You know, made an interesting point about bots. Um, you know, many bots don't understand IT, or many bots don't are not experts, or may may not have an expert in the in the IT. Is that important for bots to have IT representation? No, for bots, uh, I've been in boards of a bank. Yeah, you've been uh, in many yeah, boards yeah. of banks, right? Uh, and I don't think that you need an IT. Just uh, you must uh, usually uh, in the board there is a lot of experience uh, in machine tools, uh, mm -hmm. you know how to invest in machine tools, and especially in real estate in real estate and buildings. Mm -hmm. So. Usually, typical in a bank is that they have to buy a new uh, branch and to buy. You now, in uh, when you buy a branch, you can say how many square meters? Mm. Uh, Five thousand. Well, why don't you make it four thousand? Mm. You know, there is a proportion between what you spend and what you get. Yeah. You cut ten percent the cost, and you get you cut ten percent uh, right. performance. Uh, what they don't understand sometimes is that uh, for uh, uh, IT that doesn't work. Okay. So maybe that if you just want to save on the uh, on the lines on the telephone lines, mm -hmm. well, that could become that you slow down transactions. If you uh, there are many savings, you know that they cut performance by fifty yeah. percent. That's difficult to explain. But once you save, sometimes they are more uh, careful about sure, that. Sure, sure. You know, tell us if somebody wants to emulate you and become a expert in IT and you know have that distinguished career that you know what sort of advice would you give a fresh young college graduate uh, as they come out into this world and you know face cloud computing and all these other things that are out there oh, I think today they will have a completely different path they don't need anymore to know anything about hardware and software because uh, I'd say that today IT has become a commodity mm. just you buy you know yeah. here we have some electric light I don't know where it comes from I even don't know how much is the voltage, yep. and uh, just I know uh, I know that when you switch on, you pay the bill, pay yep. for use. Yeah. Right. I think that IT today will become something uh, like a commodity. Okay. You so can everybody understands. Yes. Everybody uh, uh, you you can buy. You, you don't care what is inside. Like when many people when they buy their cars, you know, today they don't even have to put water to refill water like it was on time. Mm. So it's something uh, that you can buy anywhere mm. from several vendors. Mm and there is a certain competition that uh, helps to keep the price at a certain level. Mm. Uh, so the problem is what to do. So mm. I would encourage uh, uh, to have uh, to open his mind and to see, uh, to become a little more creative, mm. to see what we can do. There are fields where we do uh, very little f with IT mm. and we could we have a high potential not expressed yet. Yep. For instance, uh, hospital, healthcare, mm, yes. you know, we are used in some cases, you, still see, you still see doctors just asking and writing, yeah. and then it comes and, nobody a, can read their and then too. and then comes a nurse and asking the same questions, yeah. or you write in some offices your name three times, yeah. and they already have it. So I think there is a lot of uh, saving that can be done mm. and better performance, not mm. only saving. Mm. So the idea is uh, not, do not uh, in, well. We need in every country mm. some good engineers because yep. then there will be IT problems. Like yep. we need somebody that knows how to run an electric plant. Yeah. So you're saying that we really need more IT penetration into other industries. Yes, right. There are industries like uh, government, mm. healthcare, and uh, uh, other kind of industry. In some countries, insurances. Mm. Insurance, they still have a lot of paper. They still, mm. uh, you know, they love paper. Mm. But I, I mean, is, is that because of compliance? I mean, you talk about banking, right? Yeah. Banks have reluctant, are reluctant to go into cloud computing, partly because of security and, and paper issues, right? All right. Uh, if a bank can go into cloud computer, but they must invest in security. Now, okay. cloud computing is, is many advantages. One of the advantages, especially for the small medium enterprise, SME, 
is that you pay for use. Yes. You can pay for use. That's what you like. You yeah. know, instead of having fixed investment yes. that you don't like, you, you pay for use. So yeah. if you use little because you have a small, small, small business, uh, a small business so it's just a bad time, you yeah. know, you don't pay. Yeah. You like electricity, you yeah. know, you can yeah. cut back easily. For banks, uh, there is a, a security risk. Mm. And this is, uh, of course, can be overcome mm. with other investments. So what can be uh, good for a small and medium enterprise cannot be good in the same situation for, for a bank. bank a yeah. bank requires to make a, a good control, a, a good... Right. But keep also, I mean, you know, the downtime, uh, I mean, banks cannot afford for cloud to go down uh, in All that right. sense, right? Then you must be in a country where there is a broadband. Mm. Okay. But here you are very close to have broadband. Yeah. I think this is one of the... Uh, probably where, where banks yes, can probably uh, leverage. No, no. This, this for broadband is a good country. You know, yeah. this is a, I just saw in some statistics, you know, Malaysia ranks very well about that. <laughs> okay, interesting. No, so if you, if there, are, there are statistics of OCSE. Ah, yes. yes that's right, that's right. And yeah, we're we are, we are not that bad, I mean, relatively. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, so if, if, you know, maybe I'll end with the final question, you know, if you were to give advice to people, uh, our, our audience, uh, what is one, two things uh, that you think uh, a business leader should think about, uh, especially in relation to IT? Well, first, uh, he must show his people it is important. So if there is a project, he must believe in it mm. and just, uh, uh, just uh, follow it and uh, even if there is a project manager, people should understand that what, is, what they're doing is important. Yeah. So this is the, will be the advice. And the second is uh, not to try to make a stupid savings so, because <laughs> they need very expensive. Yeah, because yeah. then the, 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 the net result will be even more expensive. Yeah, net result, yeah. That's uh, typical of this situation. Perhaps sometimes it happens also in the medicine, you know, mm. that just to, if you try to Save buy the, cheap, uh, the cheaper <laughs> pills, you know, you <laughs> can get a better worse. result, right? <laughs> No, that's true. And, and, you know, we've been talking to Professor Marco Di Marco. Professor, thank you so much for being here on the show, here on Learn from Deuteronomous.